Japan is crazy for fish. Each morning, thousands of merchants crowd Tsukuji Seafood Market in Tokyo. At Tsukuji, no product has a higher price than the one that's the most taboo, the puffer. It's the seafood version of Russian roulette, an extremely poisonous fish that the Japanese call fugu. Despite the danger, fugu appears on more than 80 menus in the Asakuso restaurant district. So ugly it's cute, the puffer doesn't fool most diners. Tom Caradana's in Tokyo for the full fugu experience, and he's brought his friend, Aki. Prudently, Tom has chosen to eat at Matsumoto. This 120-year-old fugu palace is known for careful preparation, important when you're dealing with a toxin a thousand times stronger than cyanide. I'd heard stories about people dying you know, of uh, trying the fugu, but it hasn't really concerned me. All the good humor in the world can't bury the risk. Over the years, hundreds of people have died from eating fugu. Chef Hayashi has Tom's life in his hands. It'll be fine, don't worry. I've been doing this for 53 years. I took the exam in 1949 and passed. This is my Fugu chef license. After World War II, Fugu fatalities skyrocketed. Starving Japanese would comb restaurant trash bins. They'd salvage discarded Fugu, grill the scraps, and die. So General MacArthur, who led the American occupation force, imposed strict controls. Fugu chefs had to get licenses. Even with stricter rules, death by Fugu claimed 2,500 Japanese between 1945 and 1975. Regulation and education have cut the death toll to only three per year, but dozens of diners still get sick. About 70% of the poisonings happen in private homes where people catch and prepare fugu on their own and get poisoned. That's most common. At Tokyo University of Fisheries, Nagashima Tuji analyzes fugu poison. He hopes to develop an antitoxin for fugu. A tiger fugu has enough toxin to kill 30 people. The toxin itself, to give you an idea, is 1,000 times stronger than cyanide. This is one milligram of toxin, enough to kill you. The neurotoxin kills by paralyzing nerves. Victims can't move or breathe, but they are fully conscious until their lungs fail. The only way to save victims is to use a respirator to breathe for them until the toxin wears off. This is the heart. These are the gills. They are poison. Toxins taint about half the usual puffer. Chefs throw those parts out, then slice the remaining flesh paper thin, arranging it in the shape of a chrysanthemum, the national flower, and appropriately enough, the choice for funerals in Japan. I can still breathe. <laughs> a typical fugu meal runs eight courses, including sake with dry roasted fugu fin. And I still feel fine. <laughs> and grilled fugu. I think that's the best. <laughs> a dinner that can kill you may be the ultimate food taboo. But at least this time around, Tom has triumphed over the pufferfish.